All right, guys, thanks so much, Ash MB, for recommending this. There is so much going on in here. And the first thing I'm gonna say is, as you watch this, keep in mind and remember that Megan is constantly utilizing PR firms and talent agencies to control her image. So watch this with that in mind. You don't listen to all the noise out there and you just focus on living a purpose-driven life and you focus on knowing what your own moral compass is, there are always going to be naysayers, but at the end of the day, you know. Okay, so first of all, again, on brand for Megan, talk about authenticity, you're all about purpose, and you don't care that anyone knows that the work that you're doing is so important because you're doing so much of it behind the scenes and you need to always tell us about that. I used to have a quote up in my room many, many this moons ago, and it resonates now perhaps more than ever when you see the vitriol and noise that can be um, out in the world. And it's by Georgia. Out in the world. So you can see this is very, very practiced and particular words. Lately, vitriol is taken on a particular meaning. Like it's um, tends to mean like discriminating, I feel like. That's how it's being used most of the time now. So all for words are very, very carefully selected. And that's why this kind of drives me up the wall because it is so manipulative so manipulative and something to keep in mind is these pr agencies understand how humans work they're good at what they do so they get a lot of people believing this stuff particularly people who are not that smart or not that self-aware because the thing is the human mind takes things that are repeated over and over as fact the brain is not rational so many people if they hear her say authenticity over and over they're going to start to believe Keith, it and it's i've already settled it for myself so flattery and criticism go down the same drain and I am quite free. And the moment that you are Oh! This, you know why this drives me crazy? She's staring right at the camera. This is so rehearsed, so practiced. And it just annoys me because the level of manipulation, it's just layers. It's like gaslighting to the world. So think about this, right? She's making a video for social media that is talking about not caring about what anyone thinks and it being all about being authentic. But that very post, that very speech is a very heavily planned chess move to create that image for herself. So it's like, we're going to make an image. The image for you is that you don't care what anybody thinks and you're just such a great person that nothing affects you. And that's the image. Oh, we need to, f I, I think she's in with varying talent agencies and PR firms. We should look into those. I'm not saying do anything about it, but just know like these are nasty, manipulative people and they can't be trusted. It's basically like propaganda. Well, to be liberated from all of these other opinions of what you know to be true, then I think it's very easy to just live with truth and live with authenticity authenticity of course Megan you always talk about truth and authenticity the opposite of what you tend to do because we can confirm lies upon lies there's nothing I want to say about this something that I've noticed something to look out for in your life or when you're being advertised or PR too it seems like the absolute worst people that you can find are people that claim that they are all good because no one's perfect and we see that a lot, like now with politics and like buzzwords and like finger pointing. It's like people are like, I'm perfect. And anyone who's not perfect is terrible tends to be the worst people, right? You see that too with like the worst people you ever see work in nonprofits. I'm not saying like people working on profits are bad. I'm saying the bad people in for-profit businesses are bad. The bad people in nonprofits tend to be worse. Like I live here in a big city. You get all these people coming up to you saying, hey, do you care about animals? Do you care about human rights? Donate to this cause. When in reality, you could look up that they work for for-profit fundraising companies and 8% of that money goes for profit. So it's the people who are claiming we're all good and I've seen them lie and say they don't get paid at all. So it's the people who are willing to say, I have no ego, I have no human desire for accolades and they're just willing to deny any of that that are the worst because they have, like they don't have that like self-consciousness that would cause you to admit that you're not perfect. It's like sociopath-like. And that is how I, that's how I choose to move through the world. 
just the way of talking is very non-genuine. I choose to move through the world. Like, it's very planned. It, it's no normal person talks that way. I mean, people in very particular industries talk that way. Maybe like some college professors, people, what have you. So that's how you know it's not genuine. It, it's very manipulative. And to me, also, I think it's part of like the, the, the cultiness and the tribalism because it's using particular words and ways of speaking that most people don't so it, it's a way to recognize like oh yeah yeah like you can know know things about each other it's like oh if you're saying vitriol and move through the world then if you have an enemy you can accuse them of this that and the other anyways thanks for watching thanks ash mb great recommendation i'll see you soon keep the recommendations coming